We're about to walk a home that has eight windows on the back wall that looks out to a green belt that you see here. And this is in the top selling community in the Austin, Texas metro area. Stay tuned for a great walkthrough. Hey everyone, Raj Sahu here. I'm a realtor in central Texas, but I don't always think you should use me as a realtor. More on that a little bit later. Today, we're walking through the Willis plan with Coventry Homes. Quick look at the sunset because it was beautiful out today when I did this walkthrough. Now this plan is over 3,400 square feet with the structural upgrades that were chosen in this home. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, two car garage. And as soon as we first walk in, it is open to the second story. And this home is for sale at $798,000. $926. So this gives you a pretty good idea of something that's not a model home. And I am getting a lot of people requesting look at more homes that are for sale to get a good idea on pricing. So that's why I'm here and I'll come back to that kitchen. But first, this is the wall that I was referencing earlier. Check out these windows that back up to that green belt and we will head back out there. I love homes that back up to green belts. I find a lot of people, especially those that are moving here from out of state who don't even maybe have a backyard. They just love the idea of having a private backyard and having a home with great upgrades that feels very open concept. And as you can tell, this home definitely has it. I will continue to put my camera up and down this home to show you all the tall ceilings that were in here. First, starting off with the kitchen, I love what they did here with the cabinet overlay wrapped around the kitchen island. I think if you did drywall here, the tough part is that stark contrast you see in the countertop with the veins running through the white countertop. I just don't think it's as dramatic, but when you have that cabinet overlay around the island, it makes that contrast you're seeing in the countertop stand out so much more. And then I like the backsplash. They just kept it simple, ran it all the way up to the ceiling along the vent hood just above this five burner stove top. And as you can tell there, you got the built-in microwave and oven. But this is the other part that I love with the kitchen island facing out to the backyard. On the left side of us, we have a dining room. So it's very open there and that has tall ceilings. You have a patio beyond that. But take a look at how big of an impact all the windows have. I mentioned the back wall previously. Take, on the, take a look at this side wall with the dining room where there are just windows everywhere in this plan. Now I know these rooms are empty, but if you do want to see this same plan staged, I do have this walkthrough as a model home where it's fully staged out and you can get a really good idea on what's possible in each of these rooms and visualize it better. So that will be in the description of this video. Getting back to the plan, this is going to be the laundry room that's uh, is connected to the owner's closet, which we can see here. And we'll come back to that owner's closet, of course, to the owner's bedroom and bathroom. Uh, and I want to show you the pantry here in a second. But before we get there, I like this built in cabinet that they have just a desk kind of off that kitchen almost serves as like a butler's pantry area where you can hide your, you know, coffee machine and anything that you want to hide that's maybe not uh, out there in the kitchen. Moving along, this is going to be the pantry area, which I would say is a pretty good size for this square footage. And then just outside the pantry area, we do have a mud bench and that mud bench is there with the coat hangers above it because this door to the right of us is going to be access to a two car garage. Now, currently at this time, if you build this plan from scratch, they do have a three car tandem garage space. But the reason why there's only a two car garage space here is because on this home, they upgraded that space to this area, which I'm calling a yoga studio. Here's why. So this is going to be the model home. And as you can tell, the same room is staged as like a yoga studio slash workout area. And I think this makes a lot of sense simply because you already have two bedrooms downstairs in this plan to begin with. So you don't really need another bedroom per se, and there's no bathroom close by to this room. In fact, this room is private from the other areas of the home. And that's why I think it makes sense as like a workout area, or I've even had people say they want a separate area for prayer or something like that. I've also had some people say they need two studies because both spouses and the couple work from home and so there's just so many different things that you can do here and even though there's carpet in this room it's super easy to take out carpet aftermarket and put in whatever flooring you want depending on how you want to use that space and of course if you're building this home from scratch that's when you have a lot of options on what you want to do here not just from a design perspective but also from a structural perspective lots of different structural upgrades 
with Coventry in their plans that open up like this. Getting back to the plan, this is going to be that dining room area. And I mentioned before, I'm gonna keep putting my camera all the way up so you have an idea on how big these spaces feel. Now I'm not gonna keep bouncing around between this home and the model home. Uh, if you do wanna see the model home, again, I'll put that in the description of this video, but stick with me. I want you to see something that still opens up really well and upgrades that I think are a little bit more along the average of what I see for homeowners around the Austin metro area. Heading outside, this is going to be the patio and the model home has what they call the mega covered patio where this patio space goes all the way around to the side in like an L shape. But as you can tell here, they just did the standard patio, which I think is great. It's a big size. You still have a lot of backyard space. And then I think that greenery in the back makes a big difference with the wrought iron fencing. It just makes it feel like it's a part of your space uh, rather than looking at a lot of neighbors. And that's why I really like opportunities like this, uh, especially for a plan with all these windows on the back wall, constantly looking at this greenery. Now we are in a community called Santa Rita Ranch. It is a master plan community in Liberty Hill, Texas, which is a fast growing suburb northwest of Austin, Texas. And while we head back into the home and I show you the living room, I do wanna mention what I find most people say they love about Santa Rita Ranch when living here is it's so lively, it's so active. And the reason why is this community already has two amenity centers. It has a third one on the way that has three pools planned in it. So inside the community, they just very encouraged to get out and about, meet your neighbors and have fun. And they have a lot of events throughout the year to take advantage of all the on-site amenities that are here. Getting back into the plan here, I like this living room where you had the fireplace on one side so you could put a TV above it. Uh, you got windows on this wall where you could put a couch kind of in between them and then everything is open again. Uh, that's gonna be the game room loft area up there, which is open in many different areas. But if you want a little bit more privacy up there, you will see a media room upstairs. So they put some pretty good structural upgrades in this home. So we will get up there, but let's complete the rest of the first floor. This is going to be the primary bedroom. And as you can tell by the running theme here, lots of great windows, tall ceilings. I love this huge center transom window that they have here on the back wall. Just these small touches that make a production builder feel a little bit more custom to just help differentiate your home from all the other homes out there. I love that green belt, like imagine waking up to that. You have uh, an outlet here for a TV, uh, a little bit high up on the wall to hang that TV. And then everything opens up really well into the primary bathroom. So you have two vanities split by a tub on the left side. You have a walk-in shower on the right side. You have tall ceilings in the bathroom as well. And then I like the windows where they did two windows on the left side here. And keep in mind, I know we're looking directly at another house. There is a film that you can put on there aftermarket. It's super easy to do and it's very inexpensive. You can just buy it through Amazon. My wife and I actually did that for some trends and windows in our home. So not, not difficult at all. And while I was going through this, I actually just realized the home across the way there is one of my clients' homes. So if they're watching, a shout out to you. I know they're very excited to close on their Coventry home, which they built from scratch. And they're also looking for some good neighbors too. So if you are interested in this inventory home, I'm trying to get my clients some good people uh, to be around. Uh, getting back to the plan, I like the tile that they selected here. It's got some good movement in it. They ran it into the shower as well. I think it provides a good contrast against the lighter brown cabinet colors and the dark hardware. And I think that this is the new trend that I'm seeing in a lot of model homes, uh, light brown cabinets and dark or matte black uh, hardware or faucets. And then we do have two closets. So this is going to be the first closet. You might see some missing shelves in closets. Keep in mind this home is near completion, but there's still probably some remaining items that are uh, still need to be done here. In fact, I was in this home about a week prior to this point. There's a bunch of tape on the walls for paint touch-ups, some cabinet touch-ups, a lot of things that still need to be done even at the end of construction. So that's why I think there's still some shelves missing here. Uh, this is gonna be that second closet. Now this second closet does have one of the structural upgrades that they have, which is a door 
to the laundry room. So this was the laundry room or utility room that we saw before where that would normally have a washer and dryer. Uh, and also just a note, I think I've said it before in many videos, washer, dryer, and fridge in the state of Texas always convey with the seller. So I get a lot of people that say, what's the deal with all the appliances that builders don't give you because they've walked so many resale homes where the homeowner is still living there. So obviously their appliances are still there. Keep in mind, if they don't list the refrigerator, washer and dryer for sale, that's just gonna transfer with the seller. So builders don't give them, but really neither do resales. Getting back to the rest of the first story here, here is a look at the powder bathroom if I don't ever open a door, it's probably a linen closet like that. That was the one time where I don't see too many linen closets in a powder bathroom. So I just had to check just to be sure. Uh, and they do have a big closet space under the stairwell. We'll see in a couple minutes here. Uh, but before we get there, I wanna first show you a good look at what's above the front door. So you have what's what most builders call a plant shelf. Now I imagine you put fake plants up there as you don't wanna get up there and water them constantly. But just some different things that you can do in your home to kind of draw your eyes upward. And these are the little things that I think some builders do that actually make a much bigger difference than most people think. Getting back into the plan, this is going to be a look at the study. I like the windows that they have in here, bringing in a lot of natural light, especially if you do a lot of work from home, it's good to have big windows. And by the way, if you're interested in lots, there is a lot right across the street from there. That's where that dirt is, backing up to those mature trees. It's one of just a couple lots that are still available here in this current section of Santa Rita Ranch at the time of recording this video. I've mentioned previously there were two bedrooms downstairs, not including that yoga room, of course, didn't have a closet, but this is going to be that second bedroom down. Again, great windows on the front wall there. You have a typical size, I would say, for a spare bedroom closet, uh, so not a walk-in closet, and that's probably because right around the corner here, there's a full bathroom that they needed room for. Also mentioned previously, there was a good storage, amount of storage space underneath the stairwell. And this is what I was referring to. And they don't have the coat closet hook there because there was a coat closet behind us that we went through previously as well. So some good storage space, I would say overall. And this is going to be a look at the full bathroom that's right off of that second bedroom downstairs. This is gonna be an acrylic pan flooring. I was actually just speaking with one of my clients who's contracting on this plan in another community. And I was telling them for their second bedroom bathroom downstairs, you can get a mud set tile floor where if you want a tile flooring, it's what they usually call a mud set where they dig into the concrete to give you space to put some tile on the floor rather than do that white acrylic pan. And those are usually two separate structural upgrades. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I wouldn't worry too much about it until you are ready to build from scratch. And then if you have questions on it, reach out to somebody like myself who represents buyers when looking at all the various builders in the market. Heading upstairs, we have a couple bedrooms up here, a full bathroom, a media room, but we're gonna start right here in the game room loft area. Because I think in this area, just imagine having a couch here where you have all those windows in the back wall with the greenery, you have all these windows on the side wall looking down to the dining room, and then you have even windows on the front wall. So above that plant shelf I was telling you about earlier, you have a window, you have the front door bringing in a lot of natural light, this is why I keep detailing plans with Coventry Homes on my channel. They tend to provide these homes that not just have great windows and tall ceilings like I keep saying, they also just have a flow that makes sense. Like I've had a lot of people walk these homes as inventory homes and they just say, I love this plan. And they don't have to walk the model home to fall in love with it and get all these amazing upgrades that are in the model homes to fall in love with it. They just fall in love with the inventory homes that just have an average amount of upgrades. And that's when I think you find the, there are great plans with a certain builder. And I think there are some builders that are really checking a lot of boxes right now for, for buyers. And that's why I'm gonna keep detailing them on this channel. Moving on, this is gonna be a good look at the media room. Again, I know these are all just empty rooms, but the model home is in the description of this video. So that walkthrough, of that home does have a model, uh, does have a media room just like this, and you can kind of see these different areas staged. Over upgraded, but at least staged, and it gives you a good visual. 
And then we have two more bedrooms with a full bathroom in between them. And while we go through them, I did want to clarify what I mentioned earlier that I am a realtor, but don't always use me as a realtor. And what I meant by that is when people reach out to me with their criteria for their location, for their home, and basically for their real estate needs, I'm not trying to convince them to just work with me and I'm the best realtor for everyone's situation. I think that that's impossible. There's no way that I could be the best realtor in every specific niche of real estate. Investment properties, downtown condos, single family homes, old homes, new homes. There's so much that goes into real estate. It's impossible to be good at everything. So I don't try to be good at everything. I try to be great at one thing. And that one thing tends to be new construction where I've worked with 18 different builders just in the last couple years and I help represent buyers trying to navigate through all the different options with builders and all these different communities. It can be so confusing when you're just going out there on your own and that's why I like to just come in and set a good game plan to help you navigate through the market. But like I was mentioning earlier, I still may not be the best fit for you and so if you are interested in real estate you're trying to figure out how to navigate through this market reach out to me if i can't help you because i think there's another realtor out there that's better for you i'll happily connect you finishing up with the plan here what i thought was so funny is why was there a sconce here uh, right in the hallway i think it's a kind of a funny place for it maybe they have it for the top of the stairwell in case somebody at night is walking down the steps and you just need like one hallway light there but I'm still not sure why they chose a sconce. It's just kind of funny because I usually see that in a lot of media rooms where they just try to provide a different type of light in a media room, like along the sides, like they do in the movie theaters. But either way, I, I think it still works. I think overall the upgrades were fantastic in this plan, but that's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Did this home deliver on a lot of the needs that you have? I want to hear from you. And also, if you want to see another plan where the game room's a little bit more closed off, it's also a Coventry home plan, and the kitchen island is massive, click on the thumbnail that's appearing on your screen. It's the Zavala plan with Coventry homes. And as always, I hope this helps. Take care.